Hey everybody, uh, as promised, I said I would do a Final Fantasy VII opening of the Collector's Edition. The thing is, it came in a day early, so it will still up, I'll still upload the video on Thursday, which will be when you're looking at it. But I have it right here, and this thing is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This thing is um, four, 14 pounds. As, I mean, it's as you can see, it's not exactly small. So let's just go in and start opening it and see what we got here. Oh man, they really went to town on this thing. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's not that big actually. A little bit smaller. Wow, it's actually got a nice, as you can see, custom art on the box. That's actually really cool. I've never seen that before. And it has the company that actually handmade the, the figure that's in there. So that's actually gonna be pretty awesome. So we wanna open this without rooting everything. So let's just make sure we get that done. All right. I will get a close up of uh, everything as well. So don't worry about any of that. Here we go. I don't really want to cut into the box. Just kind of like lightly getting into the top. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, I love the fresh smell of any kind of collector's edition. There's a company that are a show that does stuff like this. They're called the Relaxing End, but the guy's doing it with gloves on his hands. I hate that. I don't actually get to to feel and, and to touch, you know, what I've paid for and. You know, really get to feel the detail and work that they put into this thing. So here it is. Wow. That's actually really cool. So on the other side, it has it as well. The Final Fantasy uh, remake. Um, okay, so it's on the side. We're going to open that over here. I'm trying not to cut the box, obviously. There we go. Okay. All right. Wow. So, let's put this on the floor real quick so we can open this thing. It's massive. This is just what is actually, don't mind the cat toys, this is actually just what is in the collector's edition for the figure. Now this thing, this is definitely the biggest figure I have now because, well next to my Death Stranding, but holy crap. Wow, so you can really see, if we're looking at it, there's a lot of detail into all of this. Um, some of the joints, well you can move all the joints, so it looks like some of the joints are kind of misfigured. It's very hard to move them, but it's good for standing in place. Um, some of the pieces are kind of, kind of janky, it just kind of moves around, it's not really like staying in place. The hair detail is really good. Um, the action for the arms are very good. Get out of here. Um, the leg movement is okay. His body proportions are kind of weird if you look at it because you can see his legs are gigantic and then his body is very tiny. <laughs> so I don't understand that. But um, overall, that looks really nice. Now this is what I really wanted to look at is this piece. So this is obviously where they put all the wear. Oh, wow. The wheels work and everything. They actually rotate. Holy crap. This thing has a lot of detail into it. This is like not cheap and flimsy compared to what was on the, uh, on the, the doll itself. This thing is 
wow, this thing is nice. Very nice colors, vibrant. Um, the axle rotates. Look at that. Oh, that thing is cool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the one from Advent Children, but not exactly. So this is what's going to be at probably at the end of the chase before you leave Midgar and everything like that. So that's actually really, really cool. Then, of course, we dig in a little more and we get his uh, Buster Sword. So we'll zoom in here, make it easy for you guys. He's got his Buster Sword right here and all the attachments, it looks like, because this is going to be like a stand. And here's the other stand is actually going to be for the, the doll. Man, this really in there. I don't even think I can get it out. What's well, the stand anyway? I'm not really worried about the stand. But the Buster Sword. Um done pretty well actually I'm very impressed um, it's nice it's not too flimsy but it has a little bit of bend to it so you know it's you can tell it's a toy but compared to the bike um, the detail on the bike is definitely better definitely better but one thing I did miss on the first part where it actually has cloud in there is um, you have all these other hand attachments you can see all the hands so as I said, they're all a little, little stiff, but they're kind of nice. They're not as bad as the legs, though. So that was that. Then we also have whatever is in this box, which hopefully, let's hope that this is actually the, uh, the cane itself. Because um, right now all I have is, you know, a giant figurine. So let me open this up. All right, it is. So yeah, here's the Final Fantasy VII remake lanyard, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. Put a couple of faces on that. I don't know if I'll be using it. And then here we have the unopened deluxe edition uh, Final Fantasy VII. Sorry for the glare. Wow, this thing looks nice. And remember, this game is only coming out for PlayStation until um, 2021, so it's only on PlayStation to really kick back to the old uh, PS1 era of this game. You get the Steelbook case, obviously. I get a new, the new soundtrack that was done with like a, sounds like a symphony compared to the old ones. A Cactar, some DLC, and the hard book cover. So, and it's very reflective. You know how they do that sometimes, just make them look all shiny, as you can see, look at that. That looks pretty legit. I like it. So, I'm going to be messing around with this stuff. Um, hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed that opening. It's a little out there and unorganized, but uh, you got to see it here with me first, so thanks.